When Kronos became king, a prophecy was made that he would be overthrown by his own son. This prophecy was fulfilled by his youngest, Zeus. After a war lasting ten years, the Titans were banished to the depths of Tartarus, and Zeus sat on the throne of Olympus, his brothers and sisters by his side. The gods reveled in their new kingdom, ruling over the mortals that lived in Elysium, a kingdom named so as to be a paradise for all those who lived there. And for a time, all was well. But gods are prideful beings, and soon began to bicker and argue amongst themselves, turning a blind eye to the realm of mortals. Zeus saw this, and saw how the mortals had also begun to fight one another in the absence of the gods' presence. A mighty thunderstorm swelled around Olympus as Zeus made a decree. The gods would no longer remain idle but instead be sent unto Elysium, where they would be given a city to rule as they saw fit. Only Zeus would remain on Olympus, to ensure that his laws were upheld. Unhappy with this order, but unwilling to incur their father's wrath and risk being felled by his thunderbolts, the gods made their way down to Elysium to live among the mortals. Each god moulded his or her city into their own image, whether that be the beautiful marble temples of Aphrodite, or the towering spires of the arcane Hecate. The mortals rejoiced to be in the presence of the Olympians, and peace was restored again. No longer able to interfere with each other as before, the gods now use mortal champions to do their bidding. Through time, mortals have dedicated their lives into performing great deeds to gain the gods' favour, become their champion, and enter their names into legend. But peace can never last forever, and dire plots are brewing in Elysium. The war god Athena, as wise as she is beautiful, has gone missing. As tensions rise amongst the Olympians, other forces work quietly, and whispers are spreading that the reign of Olympus is coming to an end.